Our next speaker would be Lisa Grace Kellogg, candidate Colorado House District 64. Lisa Grace Kellogg is both an attorney with a background in constitutional law and small business owner. She and her husband, former Denver Bronco player Mike Kellogg, own a ranch in Huerfano County where they breed Rocky Mountain horses and until recently owned the local newspaper, the Huerfano County World. Lisa has worked as an associate with Lemieux O'Neill Law Firm, which specializes in water law. Later, she established her own firm specializing in representing newspapers. By 2003, she represented over 40 newspapers and has handled numerous cases involving First Amendment and other constitutional issues. In 2008, she learned that the region's oldest newspaper, the Huerfano County World, was just one week from closing its doors due to ill health of its owner. Believing that the demise of the local paper would be too great a loss for the area, she purchased it, relaunched it, and it became one of the county's top employers. Lisa is a lifetime member of the National Rifle Association, past president of the Kiwanis Club, a member of the Colorado Women's Lawyers, she received the William Dunlap Fellowship Award for Community Service in 2004 and was named one of the top 50 most influential women lawyers in 2005. With her background as a constitutional lawyer, a tough advocate for small business, and a commitment to public service, she now has decided to offer her talents for the benefit of our community by running for the 64th District House seat. Please welcome Lisa Kellogg. Thank you. Thank you. We're all here today because we believe in the sanctity of private property rights and because we believe that a promise made should be a promise kept. You know, during the first Continental Congress, Thomas Jefferson said, when all of Washington is centered in, when all of government is centered in Washington, that government will become as evil and oppressive as that from which we just separated ourselves. And that's why our U.S. Constitution clearly separates the powers of the federal government from the sovereignty of the states. And our Enclave Clause makes clear that before the federal government can come into the boundaries of a state and exercise jurisdiction to purchase, own, or control land, it must first get the acquiescence from the state legislature, and the state must relinquish control of that property. And here's what that means. That means before the federal government can come into our area and seize control of your land, it must first be approved by the state legislature. Now I have to give some credit to legislatures of the past. Because they passed two bills, 1069 and 1317, which essentially withdrew this consent. Further, 1317 actually instructed our Attorney General to pursue legal action if the federal government attempts to come in and exercise eminent domain to expand Pinion Canyon. In other words, the law is on our side and we can win this battle. So what's next though? What if that 800 pound gorilla known as the federal government simply refuses to take no for an answer? Not that I would ever accuse the federal government of being arrogant. Well, here's what happens. We take the battle to the federal courts. We fight long and we fight hard and we do everything necessary to protect our rights. Now to do that, you're going to need a tough advocate, someone who knows how to navigate the judicial system, and someone who will be a strong voice when and where it counts. You need an, a representative with experience in constitutional law, 
someone who has fought these battles and won these battles in the past, and is your next state representative, I make a commitment to keep a watchful eye on the legal maneuvering centered around Pinion Canyon and to meet all legal challenges head on. Now we know that Pinion Canyon is only one of the issues that's facing our district. For years, the very threat of the expansion looming over us has devastated our economy, almost as if the government had already come in and taken our land. We've hesitated to bring in new business. We've hesitated to expand our existing businesses and ranches. And we've starred the economic machine necessary to create jobs. In essence, we have allowed ourselves to succumb to the fear of the unknown. But you know what? No more. Now is the time to bring in capital and expand, to buy more equipment and create more jobs. Now's the time to come up with fresh ideas to improve education after the blow that we suffered. And now's the time to look into the future to ensure that the next six years are better than the last. Do you know that right now, millions of dollars of your tax money that you have sent to Denver is already set aside to solve some of these problems? And yet, it hasn't made its way back home. Why? Well, simply put, because your current representative hasn't taken the simple steps necessary to bring your tax dollars back home into our district. My opponent has given up on this district, but I won't. We're facing a serious crisis, and we need serious leaders, not characters. We need representatives who are going to work for us, not try to entertain us. My priorities are the same as yours. And most of all, I pledge to you to be a strong proponent of the Tenth Amendment and safeguard our rights under all circumstances. I'm Lisa Grace Kellogg, and I respectfully ask for your vote. Thank you.